Microsoft has launched Jarvis. I mean, kind of, and they don't call it Jarvis. Hey, Copilot, how's it going? Hey, it looks like you're about to dive into some Minecraft. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to make a sword. To craft a sword, you'll need some materials. Can you open your inventory? Just press E on your keyboard. You've got some sticks, perfect for the sword's handle, but it looks like you're missing the material for the blade. Let's start by gathering some wood or stone. Shall we head out and find some resources? Yeah, that sounds great. I have a strong mixed feeling about this. Let's talk about it. Microsoft's build event is going to happen, but somehow Microsoft decided that we're going to launch a new set of computers, PCs, personal computers, before the event itself. Uh, I guess this is so that Microsoft calls it. It's a co-pilot plus PCs. So first of all, Microsoft's branding is quite weird. So they use the word co-pilot for what you have inside Microsoft 365. They use the word co-pilot, what is inside Bing, or probably they rebranded Bing to co-pilot. And now they're using co-pilot as a word for what is inside your PC. And they already had GitHub co-pilot. I, I actually thought like Google is using a lot of different names. Now Microsoft is using one name across all the places and confusing the heck out of us. Anyways, so Microsoft is launching a new computer PC. Uh, they it starts from thousand dollars approximately and this PC has a new component called NPU. You've heard about CPU, you've heard about GPU and you've heard about TPU. So what is this NPU? Probably Microsoft took a small page out of Apple and then they're calling this as a neural processing unit. And what is this neural processing unit? It is uh, their own chip based on ARM 64 architecture, very similar like what Apple Silicon has been for Apple. And uh, Microsoft is giving uh, this another shot. For those who remember the history, Microsoft tried this already with Surface. But this is optimized for running large language models connected to and enhanced by large language models running in the Azure cloud in concert with small language models. Now that is where the conflict starts for me. So we know at this point that there is this new chip NPU that is going to be inside this PC. This PC a personal computer is going to be an AI first, artificial intelligence first computer, which is well and good. And it is like Jarvis. It can see what you're doing. It can memorize what you're doing. It can suggest you what you want to do. It can do all these things. The problem why I have mixed feeling because you can you can ask me, right? Like you're like, hey, you are an AI creator and uh, why wouldn't you like this? Uh, why are you so biased against Microsoft? I bet these are going to be some of the comments in this uh, because people don't like whenever I criticize anybody. So for Microsoft fanboys, this is going to happen. The problem I have is even though I believe that this could be something that runs locally on your own computer, I do not know what runs locally on your computer, what does not run locally on your computer and requires cloud. This was the exact same problem when Google launched AI services on phone, especially with Samsung phones, which advertised it as an AI device. There are certain things that the phone could do, but the certain things required internet connection and the same thing with PC. This personal computer is going to have extensive connection with the internet. I mean, of course, everybody has an internet, right? But I don't want everything that I do on my computer to be recorded in Microsoft data center, which might be already happening. I do not know. But now this is making it so imminent for that to happen because this is going to make it that every computer on this planet connected to internet is going to collect data, memorize the data because it has got a recall instantly feature. And then it is going to send it to Microsoft data centers, Azure data centers. It is going to give me a great service. I mean, a lot of people might be okay with this, but to be really honest, as a tech enthusiast, ethics discussing person about AI and machine learning and also AI content creator, I think this is quite alarming. And uh, I would strongly encourage Microsoft to clear this completely because some of their demos, it's very obvious. Uh, it's a uh, it's a local large language model or what 
they keep on calling us SLM, small language model. But some of the demos, it doesn't look like a local language model. Like it's, it's, it's impossible almost for it to be a local language model. So I welcome an AI first personal computer in the era of AI. I still like, like to think that these are more like assistants, but this Microsoft complete rebranding of even personal computer along with running these large language models, uh, supposedly either on local device or on cloud without so much clarity with like blurred lines could mean that your PC could be completely watching what you're doing, which your PC already does. But I always believed that my PC is not recording it anywhere. But now I don't have a PC in the first place. But if you have a PC, then probably now it is time to think whether this new Copilot plus PCs could be connected to internet and recording if you if you record, of course, uh, will be sending it to Microsoft servers. But if you do not care, care about any of these things, if you just care about like better user experience, I think this is going to completely revolutionize the way you use your personal computer, uh, whether it is creating images, whether it is um, CapCut, whether it is DaVinci Resolve, whether it is talking, whether it is typing, all these things are going to be completely revolutionized by AI. That is what Microsoft calls Copilot. And that is a new computer that you should check out. Copilot plus PC. See you in another video. Happy prompting.